Hello and welcome. This is my autobiography about well-being. I struggled with maintaining certain aspects of well-being as a child. There was a lot of stress at home and at school. This presentation will discuss what I now understand about well-being after going through these experiences. What does well-being mean? Now, almost 25 years later, I definitely consider myself to have a much better state of well-being. On this slide, I will go over some of the ideas of well-being that I have attained so far through this course. Well-being addresses the importance of physical, mental health, and wellness. It incorporates capacities such as self-care, sense of self, and self-regulation skills. Wellness encompasses self-esteem, confidence, self-awareness, and respect. Rees, 2010, added that family, friends, leisure, school, education, and learning, behavior, the local government, community, money, attitudes, and health are also indicators of young people's well-being. A rich intellectual life, rewarding human relationships, the love of the home, place, and good sound character, good parenting, spirituality, and a job that one loves. I particularly can relate to this statement as an adult because I now have attained most of these in my life and these indicators have improved my overall well-being. My understanding of well-being. Well-being encompasses cognitive, emotional, social, and physical domains. Having a healthy physical well-being is important for growth and development. When we feel loved and respected, this contributes to a sense of belonging. Having healthy friendships contributes to a healthy social well-being. Having positive sense of self supports emotional well-being. When we have connections to our culture, this contributes to a social emotional well-being. When we feel a sense of accomplishment and personal fulfillment, this contributes to emotional wellness. All of these mentioned and more, like the feeling of being happy, contribute to a person's overall well-being. Well-being in the classroom. I experienced some bullying when I was a child, and this affected my emotional well-being. These quotes were taken from the literature and theories discussed in this course, and they reflect my understanding of how formal education contributes to wellness in general. Holistic education is based on the premise that each person finds identity, meaning, and purpose in life through connections to the community, to the natural world, and to spiritual values such as compassion and peace. This point is important to my understanding because I work in a Catholic school where religion is a part of the curriculum. The benefits of a more holistic perspective can also extend beyond academic curriculum and apply to school climate and issues of safety and security. The goal of the classroom management is to create an environment in which students behave appropriately, not out of fear of punishment or desire for reward, but out of a sense of personal responsibility. We need to comfort children and make them feel at home when they are at school. This will support growth and development of their holistic wellness. My wellness experience in formal education. I received psychological support from my elementary school. When staff noticed a shift in my behavior, the school provided my family with community services to support. This contributed to an overall social and emotional well-being because some of the coping skills I learned, I still use today. When my grades began to decline, the school provided extra support during English classes. This extra support contributed to cognitive well-being and provided support that helped to develop a personal confidence in my learning abilities. I lived in the country when I went through the schooling system. My education included lots of time spent in nature with lots of outdoor sports and games. This contributed to my personal well-being by emphasizing the positive effects of an active lifestyle. I remember the gym teacher using an old style projector to teach us about healthy foods. This contributed to physical wellness and maintaining healthy eating habits. Morning Scope Program. This was a project started to promote healthy teeth. This contributed to physical well-being and forming healthy hygienic habits. School and Community Safety. Community members like police officers, firefighters, and motivational speakers that talked about wellness and staying safe. This contributed to social emotional well-being. It also provided a sense of community and responsibility, which supported my cognitive well-being in school. 